It's your favorite bilingual. Uh, Boricua. Uh, it's your favorite mixed breed. It's your favorite mutt. It's your favorite YouTuber. Hopefully. Uh, The Hammer. Uh, live and present. Uh, swagged out. Showing my, uh, Latino side. Anyways. Uh, today we're gonna be reacting to, this has nothing to do with any of this. Uh, today we're gonna be reacting to NFL most heated moments of 2019-2020 season. And there were some heated moments that I could think of that I can't wait to see because they should be in this video because I'm pretty sure I saw them in the thumbnail. Not gonna lie. So, uh, let's get right into it. Oh, this is the first play? Oh, look at that. Bruh. Bruh. Yo, play the replay. I got to see the replay. Got to see the replay. Yo, it be five, bruh. Believe Miles Garrett? Honestly, just looking at myself wearing this, I, I want some rice and beans. <laughs> Can it be any more stereotypical, bruh? It wants to be neat. Black and all, I need, I need something, you know what I mean? Yeah, there'll be some ejections. FedEx me, bruh. There may be suspensions. That's right, suspensions. And there was Garrett. That was well after the play. Here it is. If you let another man take the helmet off of you and then proceed to beat you with it, obviously you deserved it, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I could just imagine what Mason Rudolph was saying during that whole time. People were saying, oh, why would he do that? Whatever. He probably said something. I don't think Miles Garrett would just do it just to do it. He's played how many games? He hadn't done this once. So what? he hasn't done anything misconduct like this. It's the only time he's ever done it. He probably says something. You probably shouldn't say nothing. To be oh, honest. Rudolph. Rudolph didn't like the way that he was uh, who you coming at? Get, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you lucky you didn't keep beating your ass. Oh, my Honestly. And 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 I'm and and I'm, I'm with whoever ran Mason Rudolph over after the play too. Wait, it, it, give me it. Yeah, he didn't even want to do that. You keep coming. Get, yeah, get hit. And then look right here, right here. Boom. Him. Yeah, hey, come to the Panthers. Come to the Panthers. Hey, both y'all welcome. You and Khalil Mack. Unstoppable. He should have hit him with the crown of it. Nah, I'm messing. I'm messing. Uh, I, these, these are mostly jokes. And picked Corey Littleton comes up with the interception. It's going to be an instant red zone drive. At the end of the play, though, look what happens here. Uh, maybe this replay will show us some pushing and shoving. And Aaron Donald got into it with Devontae Freeman. 
flags flew as you see the great concentration right by here. Littleton, who we've mentioned it. a couple of times in this game. Okay, here, here's the scuffle we're talking about. Face masks being grabbed. It's it's Devontae Freeman, who's not a big guy, against Aaron Donald, who most certainly is a big, strong, tough guy. Take down by the official. Look at this one, though. Donald and Freeman head to head, and then Donald lifts him up like Darth Vader did to the uh, insubordinate general. Don't even start on Devontae Freeman. I don't even want to look at that man. That man is the most. I don't know, bro. Like I remember he. I one year he's throughout tackles and ninety yards, eighty yards, sixty, thirty, thirty, twenty touchdown. You know what I mean? Like he that he used to be like that. Now he like you lucky you get a yard. <laughs> And it's just sad. It's just sad. And you have no reason to beef with Aaron. Aaron Donald will eat you, bro. If he said, if Aaron Donald says something to you, I understand standing your ground. But you started punching. You should have just been like, "Ref, get this man." You, you're only there so y'all both can make money. There's no reason to. Yeah. Star Wars just lifts him right up off his feet. Okay, one more time. We got to see that replay one more time if we can, guys. But the Rams are going to get the instant red zone opportunity up 17. Game rewind to show you Deshaun Jackson. Now watch the wide receiver here going mm. head to head with the What's up? TV from the skins. Of course, Deshaun Jackson, formerly of the Buccaneers, Is that Clint Dunbar? formerly of Washington, formerly of Philadelphia, now back with Philadelphia. The pressure got rid of it on the screen. Hilliard. Hilliard inside the 40. Penalty marker flies as he's brought down at about the 30. Yeah. A little bit of a scrum back at about the 45-yard line. Well, it's Humphrey. I can tell it's Humphrey, so my guess is it's Odell Beckham Jr. And this has become more than a scrum. And another flag is thrown. Tell this is a division. You're going to see the bottom of the screen. Humphrey 44, Odell Beckham Jr. 13. They're going at it. <laughs> Odell, such a bitch. I, I really don't care. I'm tired of seeing Odell fighting with the niggas. Like he, he just he be pissing me off, bro. He, he literally be pissing me off. He's such a bitch. Over to the left of the screen. Look at him. Look at him getting bitched around as usual, per usual. In wrestling that'd be a two per usual, per usual. Per usual. <laughs> Dropped. And the question was, you know, the, the flags come in late. Not even, I don't even like, I like Odell. Like, I think he's one of the best receivers in the league. He could be the best, but, you know, he be, he just be a bitch. Like, he's the way he, his mannerism, the way he act, the way he just act like a whole ass fucking narc. Like, it just, you know what I mean? Like, like. Jones was down. He got up as if to start running again and then took a big hit. That's the thing, I think, and I, I don't blame anybody here for getting a little antsy right here for the defense for trying to finish the play. You got some guys mixing it up down there now after that big hit on the quarterback. Well, the offensive line's job is to protect this guy and Daniel Jones, but I understand because you look at the quarterback, he's going to get up and start running, and as a defender, Oh, my boy Landon Collins with the... Y'all see the drip? Did y'all see the drip? Look at my boy Landon Collins. Y'all see the... Get big, get big, get big, get big, get big, get big, 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 Look, that drip? And because you look at the quarterback, he's going to get up and start running. And as a defender, you're going to go finish the play. And Deron Payne's going to try to tackle him because you think he's running and you don't know if he's down or whistled down, but your job is to finish the play. Oh! Don't finish the play. And he I don't know why you see that the first That's time. A big play. Well, Hamilton was the one, though, that looked like he led with his head there and made helmet. Yeah, bro, you get up that quick. I'm thinking you up. You get hit. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, nah, I'm with that. The pocket, not out of the pocket. I got a feeling. Sean Dion Hamilton's going to be hit with a flag here. And then all of a sudden you get this going on. Sean Dion Hamilton. I, 
Does that feel like that fit? <sighs> wow, Landon Collins, body slamming. I would love to see him just flip that into his left hand so something like that can't happen. I mean, I what a I don't think he saw him coming, Kurt. I mean, it, it, it looked like he looked eased up just a second. <laughs> he didn't see him coming in. Boy, that was a big mistake there. We got pushing and shoving. That's a 59-yard game. Carlos Hyde with a heck of a day. He now has 161 yards rushing on just 16 carries. Fantasy points are crazy. stays as a professional. He's upset now because it does open the door a little bit for Jacksonville. And Fournette's going. And Ronnie Harrison right now, it seems like. A little bit of a an intra-squad skirmish there a little bit. That's LSU Alabama. Okay, all right. Uh, settle down. Settle down. Way barking right there at... Dylan Cole, and then all of a sudden Harrison extends the festivities. Boye was saying the boy too. And then, okay. No flags there. You might assume it's. Yeah, Jack. Oh, I've never seen this. Live, show. yeah. And then chatting. Oh, uh, the uh. swing. Now that's an ejection swing right there. You can see the official threw the initial flag and then tossed his helmet. So Jack and Watkins got into it. Watkins was standing over him. Jack retaliated. He got a push from behind by Robinson. Honestly, 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 in all honesty, Miles Jack would beat both these niggas up at the same time. Watkins was standing over like, him. They're both grown men. They look smaller than they, what they actually are. They're actually they probably look really freaking big in real life. But I just, I know he about to smoke. So you're not about to come behind me and do that. Like, if it's me, you're dead first. I don't, I don't, you know, not actually talking about killing the man. But you the first one to get beat, I'll tell you what. And then you next, nigga, you next. From Jack retaliated, you got a push from behind by Robinson. Look at that, exactly why I, I would have done it too, bro. I would have knocked his head off too. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Who is this? Who is this? Don't be who I think it is. Exactly. I would have been on that same energy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the energy I want to see, D-Hop. It should have been Marshawn Lattimore, old garbage ass. To be honest, bro, to be honest, you're, you're a whole Giants player, bro. You get pushed by a cowboy right here. Listen, listen. You know this is a quarterback. The fact that you proceeded with your action at that moment, I mean, you knew he was running out. That's a flag. I'm going to keep going. Pull it, run it, and he hits him, makes it look worse than what it actually is. Get a first down, and then... The refs already think this is flag worthy. The refs are already about to pull it, and they're in New York. Wipe out somebody on the sidelines 14 yards later. You proceed to fight. Somebody who's huge, you can't see him, but he's huge. You throw a punch in front of a ref. Not only 
did you throw a punch, but you're black and you threw a punch in front of a white ref and a white guy. I'm. Oh no, he's black. Oh, you might be all right. At the same time, you you're gonna lose this battle. That's that's what I was getting at. I don't. You gotta be smarter. That, that's what I was getting at. And yes, I brought race up because that's it's true. It's very true. And I don't if you say think it's not, you don't gotta watch it. Go somewhere else. Xavier Woods at the end of that play. Watch what happens there as he gets a little shove. Like, he didn't even do anything, honestly. Like, you could have just kept it moving and walked to... Like, if you could have avoided all the skirmish. But you didn't want to seem like a bitch, which I understand. And I'm gonna try to just the or just help him up. You know, show some sportsmanship. You know, I just don't even understand it. Like, I, like it... I understand, but I... At the end of the day, you're both there for the same thing. It gets testy between these two meeting up as division rivals. Well, let's just face it, these teams don't like each other. You got Pouncey in there. But this is what I do like to see. I like to see... I like to see when the division rivals look like division rivals. That they're supposed to. These are the most interesting games when there's high tension and whatever. And then after the game, y'all go home. You call your boy. Say you're on the Bengals. You call your boy on the on the Steelers. Hey, yo, trying to go out tonight while he's still in town. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. He's been in this rivalry for a long time. This makes sense. Time. You know, that well, last, that that, that last one, it was a division, down. but you, all that could have been avoided, and it's just better for the team. I don't know. I don't, uh, maybe I, am I too serious? Should, no. I, should I just be telling you all to mess these niggas up? They make that hunting trip with Dan has got a, a skirmish now in the middle of the field. Come in and get a road victory of sorts before a very partisan crowd. Yeah, Rivers just had to take a shot with his big receiver down with no chance from the beginning. Two interceptions and a fumble tonight for the Chargers veteran quarterback. So a long night for Philip. Long night for the Chargers. We will drop to two and four. There's Rivers. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You see this? You see this right here? I know he said something to make him do this. But at the same time, you should know you really shouldn't be following this man, doing what you're doing. Saying what you're saying because you know he's not listening. He's just looking for a call. Think smarter, bro. Like I don't. Now the one thing you know about Philip Rivers is he will talk some trash. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Most people oh, put it back. That's my team. Put it back on. Oh, that's my team, bro. He won't sleep. What happened? After that oh. one. It, it was not. There's a there's a couple flags on the ground as we see the officials trying to separate these players. Gerald McCoy being one of them. Let's watch. And they don't even give me start. They did Gerald McCoy dirty. The Bucks are not an organization that give a flying flippity about you, bro. And you know how I clearly he was the best player on the team. For the entire time he was on the team. And y'all get rid of him like he's not nothing. Give away his jersey number like he was like some other player. And y'all blame him 
as if he's the reason that yeah, like it just doesn't make any sense. Like it, Bucks fans and I just. Y'all don't make nothing make sense. Look, 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 that right there, that right there. Look, listen, you lucky he ain't beat your ass. You know, because he's on the Panthers and we teach discipline in Carolina, Khalil Mack, Miles Garrett. You want to be a GOAT, come to Carolina. Anyways, we teach discipline. You want to keep, we beat your ass, but we going to discipline your ass as we beating your ass. Well, watch this. Say something else. Say something. I choked him. Look at him. Look at him. The ob. We take the odds because we probably uh, we probably lost that game. Honestly, we're kind of we're not that great right now. But eh, we might have won. Uh, I forgot which one that was. That was a London game. We beat their ass. Jameis dog. Why is it doing that? Damn. All right, stop throwing a whistle, bro. I can hear it. Okay, I remember last video. If you see my last video, go watch my last video. But self promotion. Um, my last video. I told you about my window in front of me. I just keep seeing too many people walk around. Now listen, if you don't live in, the, I live in the hood. If you don't live in the hood, you don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm not talking to y'all, but for my people who understand me. You, you got to keep watch over your own. So when I see people walking around, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to look because my safety is more important than this video. I don't know why I felt like I had to say that. I felt like I had to say that. I don't know. Maybe it's the water I'm drinking. To be honest, Quan Alexander is not a dirty player, so I doubt he meant to do that. But you got a slide, bro. What is this? Playing dead? That's not sliding. Like, what? What are you doing? Sliding sideways? You don't get to pick how you slide. You got to slide as you slide as you're supposed to. This is where the play should be down. You should be vertical, not horizontal. You doing that just cause that. And if you don't, if you don't agree with me, I don't care. It's true. You can't just play dead and say, "Hey, they, he hit me." Like you were going full motion, and then you just drop. Like that shouldn't have been a flag. If anything, it should be a flag on Jameis for not doing it right. And I'm not trying to be biased, even though it sounds like I am. But fuck them. Okay, they're going to look at this. I mean, three flags. Here's one of them. Williams, good play. And all over the place tonight is Justin Simmons. And those two get into it on the Kansas City sideline. 16. Cousins. 
Comes to the far side, never got a full handle on it, although the Bears scoop it up just for good measure. Incomplete is the call, a screen. After the play is over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 39, defense. Jackson, Perry comes in late, number 39. Gets in the face of a much bigger opponent. He didn't even do anything. The play is a first down. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense, number 18. 15-yard penalty from the dead ball spot. It's still first and 10, Pittsburgh. For this back and forth with Justin Burris. Leads to the third field goal of the night for the Broncos. Field goals ain't going to get done. You know who that is? Played for Clemson. And the only reason I'm saying anything, not only did he play for Clemson, but he's the only person in the draft, when he got drafted, that I was like, wasn't he like second round? You know what I mean? You, 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 you know how you have that, that, that realization where you're like, oh, we about to get some fire. We about to get some fire. Like, say you're a Raiders fan, and you're like, who's available? Josh Allen, the Jag the one that went to the Jags, I think. You know, the Dan. Um, I feel like there was somebody else. Somebody else that was like, like, Top tier, like, you got to get. Like, I'm trying to think. Anyways, I know there was somebody other than this man. And they said, it was like, something C, something, starts with a C, Feral. You said, then you like. Huh? At that point, I know, I know they had like, they had like, they had like 70% of all Raiders fans just like get Gruden out. Gruden's done. Because you got to think, think about it, think about it. Gruden got there. He got rid of the best two players that probably that sold the most jerseys in all of Raiders in that time period. Amari Cooper. Khalil Mack. <laughs> Amari Cooper got better. So now so so now y'all look kind of stupid. I mean you don't, but you You know? And then he got rid of the the he's the best in the league at rushing the passer. Don't give me Aaron Donald. He's not the best in the league at rushing. He's the best defender. He's the best overall. You get that. But Khalil Mack is the best at rushing the passer. And then what do you, what did you need when you got rid of Khalil Mack? Oh, I think we need a pass rusher. Oh, dumbass. That's that he coached Tampa. That I'm just I'm just saying. I'm not trying to put two and two together. I'm just putting two and two together. Without Dungey, there's no Super Bowl. Simple. Anyways. And some extracurriculars. Was in it. Some of those good job not, not throwing the flag there by the officials. Experience boost, reason. That's the video. Hope you all enjoy. If you didn't, if you did, <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> uh, let's let me have some fun, bro. Let me have some fun, bro. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Like, subscribe. Post notification. I'll see y'all next time. Which might not be tomorrow because I might take Sunday off. I might not, I might not post tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on what I'm doing because I, I you know I be I be busy sometimes. I don't know. If you get a video, watch it, subscribe, like, do everything I just said. But you shouldn't have to because you should have already done it.
And if you haven't, obviously you don't mess with me. So obviously, I don't know why you're still watching. Now, before I subscribe, like, you know, I don't know. Anyway, dude.